we took on the second gym last episode. If you haven't checked that out, click the eye in the top right corner of this video right now. Go and watch it because it was an interesting one. Uh, you'd think that a gym would be hard, but we've actually had more trouble underground. Because we also went underground after the gym and caught an insane Pokemon. You're going to want to go and watch it. Make sure you do. You've been and watched it, right? Good, because here's the Pokemon. Scyther. A bug flying type Pokemon. It's insane. I'm so happy with this capture. And yes, I'm a sucker for the original 150 Pokemon. Speaking of which, we've got two rooms here underground that we need to go and check out. This room is just a bog standard cave. Doesn't look like there's much going on in here. Oh my god, it's a Houndoom. It's a Houndoom. We need to try and catch it. If you guys didn't see a couple of episodes ago, we were trying to capture this for ages. And we failed. Scythe is so big, he barely fits on the screen. Here we go then. Houndoom is diff down to a decent amount of health. Hopefully, we'll be able to capture him. No, again, it's been really weird. Maybe a Premier Ball? It seems to be that Pokeballs don't capture anything. It's always the random other balls that seem to do it. Not this time. I'm probably just going to keep going. I'm going to keep chucking Pokeballs at this thing until one sticks. Okay, okay. Oh, that was so close. I thought that was it. Oh my god. I'm putting my feet up. I don't care how long it takes. We're getting it. We're getting it. Nope. 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 And Scyther's dead. Nope. What? He roared at me and sent me away. Cheeky git. I don't think I'm ever getting a Fire-type Pokemon, by the way. That room was a little bit disappointing. Hopefully, this top room is a really cool one. Ooh. What's this? It's like a mossy grassland place. This is weird, man. Run away from the Pokemon. A Zubat, really? We've got this weird toad-looking thing. A Krogunk. Sucker Punch. Jesus, okay. It could be a fighting type. You know what? I might as well try and capture it. It could be quite cool to... Uh, is this going to be another situation where I'm trying to capture something and it just won't go in? One, two. Yeah, I don't think Pokeballs can do it. I think I've got to come back when I've got Great Balls. That doesn't stop me chucking out Pokeball after Pokeball after Pokeball on the odd chance that I might actually capture it. One, no. I might give up. Let's give up. This is stupid. I think I'll have to come back when I've got some other stuff because... Pokeballs aren't doing it. It's going to have to be Great Balls or Ultra Balls or something. Absol grew to level 24. Right, let's get out of here. Ooh, the underground's massive, you know. Ooh, there's some big rooms. I want to go to a big room. I'm going to use this to get around, but we are on our way to a big room. I am going to use it solely to just run. I'm not going to stop for anybody. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, let's see what we can get then. These big rooms, a little bit of a trek away. Are you going to heal my Pokemon? Oh, no, you're trading it. Oh, no, 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 no. Budge, you leave me alone. Budge, you leave me alone. <laughs> Another Diglett. We got four out of 40. I think you've got to get them all in one trip, though, so that's pretty hard to do. We're going into the big area now. This could be sick. A still water cavern. Oh, it hasn't got anything new, though. Scyther we've already got. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Found a big mushroom. Interesting. Oh, right, don't get me wrong. These are big bio... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's safe to say I've not got the Pokemon to be doing this, by the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're on one HP. And it's killed me. Absol's down. I think I'm going to have to run, you know. All I've got is Jirachi. I got away safely. Happy days. Another Toad-looking thing. Another Pokeball. Bullet Seed. Other than that, the big open area is a bit boring. I'll try and do a reload of it and see if that helps. Lickitung. Toad thing. Budgeu, Crow. Ah, I got caught by the Crow. I don't know why, but I expected one insane Pokemon to be in this area. That doesn't seem to be the case. It doesn't seem to be that there is, like, I don't know, not a legendary as such, but maybe a starter Pokemon, like a Charmander or something would have been cool, or a Cinderquill or something. But these areas, even the big ones, don't seem overly great. I think the other one's actually better. When you're coming into touch with stuff like Scyther and that sort of thing, that's actually quite cool. I expected something big from the big area, and it has bitterly disappointed me. Because it has only got a Lickitung in it, which is essentially what we could have found anyway. I'm coming in for one more run, just to see if, you know, we've been let down by the other two, and there is something insane in here. I'm sorry, I wouldn't count Budgeu and Muckrose as insane. And a Bidoof. A Bidoof! That's not a legendary. Now, you know what? We've done a full lap of it. 
and there's nothing unfortunately so we're getting out of here before we literally do completely faint right we spent far too much time down there safe to be said do 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 we can now use cut on the Sudden Willows that are stood outside the Galactic Tower. I think they might just be trees. Bidoof coming to help us out though. Now, if you guys haven't seen the last episode, we're doing this to try and save the biker. Looks like this could be a duo battle. Let's go. Team Galactic Grunt and Team Galactic Grunt again. Okay, two grunts. Wormpool and Zubat come out. We've got Absol and Jirachi. Right, we should be able to one bang the Zubat. Oh, the level 14. We've been fighting level 30s. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for Team Galactic. They set out Glamiao, level 14. And they've set out Cascoon, level 13. Okay, their Glamiao is actually quicker than us. But we're going to use Confusion on it and probably kill it in one go. Yes, of course. It's just... We need harder opponents. At least with the underground, having level 30 Pokemon up against you at this stage is a bit of a challenge. Cascoon is now down as well. Primplup grew to level 24 and wants to learn Swagger. I'm up for letting the penguins shake those tail feathers. Okay, Swagger is actually a rubbish move. We defeated the two grunts. So now time to head upstairs and see if we can find our... Um friend the biker i mean we're only doing this because we want a bike ourselves of course here we have another trainer battle team galactic grunt what are they going to send out they're sending out a worm pool we're sending out absol assurance one bands it i actually just want to have a chat with you guys just to give you a bit of an insight into how that i do these videos i record quite a lot of these in one day i don't have a massive amount of time at the moment and i'm taking any opportunity i can to try and just grind out for example pokemon recordings so if you put a comment in the last three or four episodes and i've not responded to it or i'm still doing that annoying thing you told me to stop doing i apologize i'm only doing it because i record all of these in one go and obviously haven't seen your comment yet because the video i recorded 30 minutes ago funny enough hasn't been edited isn't out they're sending out silcoon we're gonna stay out with absol i want to grind absol up a little bit i think it might be a pretty killer pokemon i mean we're up against level 12s this isn't really fair the zoo bat that came out next wasn't much of a fight either and we defeated another grunt our mission is to implement our operations without question it is all for the new world order that our boss will lead sounds like real life politics without the christmas parties of course kadabra very nice right absol you're gonna have to do some pretty good stuff here kadabra is a good pokemon okay one bang one banged again i would love to get an alakazam in this game um but you have to trade and i think the only person i can trade with is stiben and i'm not sure whether you need to have a nintendo account like nintendo's like online subscription service to make sure that you can trade if you don't then stiben if you're watching we need to get some Abras, some Alakazams, some Kadabras. Uh, we defeated a scientist grunt that time and, you know, let's head upstairs. I need to find the bike, dude. Oh, I think we found him. What is it with Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Dude, you're stealing Pokemon. That's not cool. Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, it is, love. I'm going to batter you first. That's a tight bodysuit. She sent out Zubat. Absol comes out to the party. One bangs, please, I beg. Yes. We are constantly overpowered, which is a bit annoying. Scun tank. What's a scun tank? Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a skunk looking Pokemon. That's cool. Hopefully, I'll have enough to take him out. He's a level 20, and that didn't do much damage at all. He used poison gas on me. Okay, this might be more of a battle than we thought. But I like it. I'm seeing new Pokemon. It's a variety. It's good. Okay, knockoff didn't do too badly, but it's not very effective. I think we need to change it up. Flamethrower. It's a fire skunk. I need it. I need to catch that Pokemon. I mean, thanks for letting me know that you're a fire type, because Primplup's going to come out and use Bubble Beam. But... That is on my list of Pokemon I want to get now. I want a Fire Skunk. Right, Bubble Beam, baby. Bubble Beam always reminds me of Starmie. I don't know why, but for me, Bubble Beam and Starmie go hand in hand. Here comes our Bubble Beam. Is it going to be enough to take out the Skunk? Oh, it's not actually effective. How does he go Flamethrower then? Poison Gas is coming out. Oh my god, this Skunk is ruining me. You snarl. What does that? Oh my god, it hits hard. Jesus Christ, this Skunk is cool. 
I want this Pokemon. Metal Claw finishes him off, though. Absol grew to level 25 and wants to learn Slash. Yes, we want to learn that one. Thank you. Uh, we'll forget Taunt. I don't think you guys will be able to hear it, but I've got headphones on and I can hear it. There's a part of this music that goes... It sounds like a phone ringing. It's very annoying. I keep going like this, thinking, is my phone ringing? And then realize I don't have a home phone. We defeated Commander Jupiter. Losing to some child... Being careless cost me too much. Right, free the Pokemon and free the, like, dude that makes bikes. Because I want a bike. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. And they're gone. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you, but Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space? Hand it over? Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from some space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Yes, I will. Let's go and get a bike. There's a lot of stairs to run down. Hold on. There's a little secret route round here. I'm going to try and check it out. Leads to a Pokeball, which is Thief. Right, anyway, back to what we're meant to be doing, which is getting a bike. Come on then, mate. Give me the bike to finish off the episode, please. Thank you for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. Okay, what bike we getting, baby? He's taking me outside. I'd like you to choose a colour for your bike. Which one will it be? Blue, red, yellow, green. Wow, the Matt Ayers Games channel is red, so we're going to go with red. Do you want a red bike? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Marvellous, you've chosen red, the colour of passion. It calls to mind images of the flame of, on Charmander's tail. I hope it encourages Charmander to come into our party. It's perfect for you. We got a bike. Happy days. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press B button to shift gears, it says. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads and routes. Now get out there and ride. I think we go south. We'll be able to go into that cave, do that jump. Oh, there's a lot of things opening up. Here we go. We can go speedy. We can go slow. Speedy. Slow. Speedy. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. you got a bike. You can ride down cycling road and end up in the Hearthroom City. It's a fast and fun ride. You should check it out. Okie dokie. It wants us to go south, basically. But I've just seen the time. We've been going for ages. That's going to have to be next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, hit a massive thumbs up on it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. It'll be very much appreciated. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.